Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today I'm going to be bringing you some more of my Let's Play series, this time from No Man's Sky. Picking up right where we left off, uh, although for me, it's been a little bit of time. I had to reorient myself to it. I've been playing a lot of uh, Call of Duty Zombies, but I uh, made another solar panel because the base was dead. And uh, I, I, I think this happens a lot when you leave the game for a little while. And you don't have sufficient batteries or sufficient power. So everything's running again. And if I remember correctly, we have to go to the space station and get a mission from the mission board so we can raise our, sta with our standing with the Vakine. I honestly I don't remember why, though. Because it's really early in the morning and I haven't played this game in like a week. But we're going to get there. Okay. So. Obviously we can't do those ones. Um, <laughs> wow, these are like barely worth anything. Uh, I don't want to kill 15 creatures. That's random and stupid. I'm going to just deliver an item, I guess. Yeah, not not giving us much for that and you can get multiple missions of the wants but I just want to do the one and be done with it okay so okay he's on this planet so oh what you got going on there rods in the sky we're gonna go investigate that I don't know what those are about but first ooh Hello. Oh, God. Maybe this would be our opportunity to get a freighter. We have not gotten a freighter. Obviously. Normally, what's going to eventually happen is you're going to have a random encounter where a freighter is under attack by, like, a bunch of pirates or whatever. And when that happens, if you kill all the pirates then the captain of the ship is like, I'd like to talk to you. And then you go talk to him, he's like, you're amazing. You should have this ship. And that's how you get your first freighter, because you can get it for free. But that's usually the first time you see a freighter. It's kind of weird that this one showed up. I love getting the freighter, though. There's like so much you can do to customize it. It's pretty cool. So that was just like a little... Let's get back to back to the mission at hand here. Wait, this is I'm not even delivering it to a person. That was the whole thing. Okay, well I barely know these guys' language, so I'm gonna just talk to all these dudes since I happen to be here. And then we're gonna go to the space station in this system, and we're gonna summon the anomaly, or the yeah, the anomaly, because we want to expand our storage. Because we talked about doing that before. Every time you go to a new system, you gotta take advantage and ex and expand on your storage. Where is? Here, let's get into space for a second here. <laughs> There's the space station. If I turn it in here, though, am I going to get... I'm not going to get Fakine. Uh, what you have it. I'm probably going to get Korvac, right? Because this is a Korvac system. Even though it was a Fakine that gave me the mission. You know what? We're going to find out the hard way. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, I mean, that's what it says. I'm, we're just gonna do it, and if it if it screws us, it screws us. Ooh, that's a really good life support module. Huh? Fuck it. It gives me a forty-two percent increase to solar panel power. A huge increase to my life support tank. 
Uh, but solar panel panel power. Interesting. I see. Okay, so I have to raise my raise my standing with the Vakine, but that mission raised my standing with the Merchant Guild, which is good because the higher your uh, thing with the Merchant Guild, then the more uh, like missions and stuff you can accept for the Merchant Guild. So that's a good thing. But still, oh, you know what else? No, we only have one point three million. Fuck. See, I had enough, and then I had to go and buy cobalt and stupid shit. Okay, hold on. Because I was about to call the anomaly to expand my inventory, but we can get a multi-tool if we have 1.5 million. We just need to sell something. I'm over it. Yeah, I get it. I'm a diplomat. Shut up. Okay, what can I sell? I don't even know what this is for, so I'm selling that. <laughs> and then I'm just going to sell that because screw it. Uh, I'm gonna have to sell salvage data, aren't I? Okay, that's fine. I have a lot of it. Let me double check the spaceship to make sure. Well, I could just sell, uh, not platinum. I don't have a lot of it. Uh, okay, let's do this. We're gonna get a new multi-tool. That's how I'll feel really good about today's episode if we get a new multi-tool. Let's get some, some distance here so it's not like up, all up in everyone's shit. Summon the anomaly. Boom. It's pretty cool that you can just summon this whenever the hell you want, you know? Oh, different gun now. Oh, what the fuck? It's a piece of shit. God damn it. Damn it. It's actually funny because... Um, so it has a better scanner range. It has way more potential damage. But that's just because it has a bolt caster. Like, that's not special. And I would literally have to add a slot to even use it. Oh my god. I'm just... I'm so disappointed right now. I thought I was finally going to be good. <sighs> we need to find a moldy tool. That's all there is to it. Like, I don't know. Maybe I should start getting... Uh, we need to start doing, like, planetary charts and stuff like that. Maybe that'll help us find one. Like, we just need to find... That's a cool looking ship right there. Um, yeah, we we need to find one. This is this is honestly getting silly. It's just such a worthless multi tool. Okay, so we're gonna go to this ancient ruin because it should be worth a little bit of money. And then we're going to go back to the space station, teleport back to home. We're back to our, the space station from our system, I guess. And then, no, we'll just go home because the base computer is ready for something anyway. A barren planet with a bunch of bullshit. Good to know. Is this uh, just ferrite dust? No, it's pure ferrite. Oh, shit. I need a lot of ferrite dust because I gotta make a shit ton of plates if I'm gonna make a landing pad. But I would love to have a landing pad because then every time I have to take off on my own planet, I don't spend launch fuel, first of all. But secondly, it just makes it so that you, when you uh, teleport back to your ship, you teleport back to the same place every time. Like your ship, you know, because otherwise your ship might be like in the way. Like it might land somewhere that you don't want it to. Okay, what do we got? Primordial turtle feet. What? Well, it's not worth much, but this is a fossil sample. We could go to one of those places and, and put that in there. Okay, I gotta remember where I even found those. Oh, where did I st I mean, they're on... The planet surfaces, but it's like... Really? 
Oh shit, hello. Oh, I can't wait to get one. Oh, 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 here we go. This could be good. 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 Where? Where are they? Yes, I have cobalt. Come get my cobalt. Approaching from where? Behind me. Roger that. The thing you have to be careful about is don't shoot a frigate by accident. I did that one time and uh, it was a world of hurt. All of a sudden they thought I was attacking them. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, we're best friends. They weren't having it. Unfortunately, those pirates were here to attack me and not one of these frigates, so it doesn't look like it triggered the whole take this frigate for free. God, are there more frigates showing up? This is like... This is like the frigate system. The problem is I still don't think I have enough cobalt and oxygen to affect the market. Yeah, I mean a little bit, but not enough to matter. Yeah, that just... <laughs> I just lost a million dollars buying their cobalt and oxygen. All I can hope is that with time because I'm getting like more and more cobalt and oxygen, I'll actually be able to affect it and then I'll eventually be profiting from this. I'm just hoping and praying to God that they didn't like patch it so that you can't because like I said, I don't think it's a glitch I consider it more of an exploit, but it's still definitely an exploit. There's still something going on there where you're allowed to just like sell a bunch of cobalt and then buy it back technically and make a profit like that shouldn't be a thing it just is oh my god we have to go back to this worthless fucking planet damn it okay this is the last thing that i'm doing for the day and then i'm gonna head off so uh i'm actually gonna kind of just wrap it up now i guess we'll see what's on this planet but then after that i'm just going back to the space station i'm gonna go home you know talk to my base computer to get whatever it is that's going to spit out for free and then that's that so um so yeah so thanks for coming out today everybody uh gosh dang it i was really hoping to get more you know like done today like we've got i was really hoping we were going to get that multi tool finally and we just have not so that's pretty upsetting <sighs> what a bummer i mean i we definitely had good you know, good exploration today, and it was definitely fun. I just wish it was more fruitful. Okay, so that is not something that I care about. Rocks, rocks. So yeah, so thanks everybody for coming out today. I really appreciate it. Hopefully next episode we can actually like advance a little bit more because I really didn't advance like any questing like at all today um like we definitely like gained some stuff but like it's hard to measure i'll talk to you guys later <laughs> thanks for hanging out